subject that's getting you really riled up at home, it has done all morning. It's the fact that nearly 16,000 channel migrants living in Britain now have been given the right to work. That's according to data that had to be obtained under the Freedom of Information law. Yeah, now there are some sort of caveats to it all. They're only paid 80% of the going rate, only in sectors facing severe staff shortages, but that includes care, care homes and the like, construction and agriculture. They do apparently lose their £49 a week subsistence allowance and it is required of them to contribute towards their accommodation costs. Uh, let's speak to former Chief Secretary to the Treasury, David Meller, who is here. At a time of, of desperately trying to save money and cutting costs and all that sort of thing, David, is there not an element of sense to this if people are contributing to their own costs while they're here in the UK awaiting a decision? Yes. Now, most politicians could never answer a question with one word. No. But the answer is yes. However, it's all bound up with a lot of other stuff that don't make this government look too good. Uh, for instance, a total failure uh, to level with the public that this was happening. I mean, what did they think? Did they think people weren't going to notice this? I mean, we've been talking about this issue, what, channel migrants, for instance, for years. Of course. And, and particularly in the last, you know, in the last year, and yet nobody has stood up and said, actually, we do put some, we, you know, if they've yes. been here a year or longer, we will allow them to work. Nobody's ever volunteered. And at me. one level, it isn't a bad idea, yeah. because here we are, uh, short of uh, staff for a whole lot of key jobs because of uh, the impact of Brexit and so on, which I'm not saying was a bad thing, but it meant a lot of people who would normally come and work here didn't. But it's also the fact that the, there's a failure uh, to uh, level with the public about the prospects of actually ever getting rid of these people that turn up on our beaches. And the answer is the government hasn't got a chance of stopping this and so they have got to try um, to find a way a way a way a way through it and the worrying thing of course is that um, if the public loses confidence in the integrity of politicians in other words they don't think politicians are dealing from a full deck they don't trust the politicians they wake up this morning and find the politicians have been allowing something to happen which is directly contrary to government policy government policy is that no one should gain any advantage from turning up on our beaches or coming in in some other illicit way and yet People will now think, well, if these people show up, they might get a, they might get a job. Mm, this is, is a mess. Which is, I mean, there is a big argument about incentive mm. in all of this to people coming here. But also, and I have to say, it's, it's, it's the human element in this as well. Lee's been in touch, because um, obviously care homes are one of the mm, areas. Yeah. I do not want my 97-year-old father in his care home being looked after by an unknown person. These people can completely fabricate their past. There is also a language barrier. Of course. Well, it's very hard to ignore a comment like that. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and of course, if they are trying to ignore it, that, that is totally bad. Look, it seems to me, you know, and I was a Home Office Minister for five years, fortunately not having to deal with immigration, but, but I can tell you that the government's got to level with the public. And also, it would be no bad thing, actually, if there were some cross-party discussions about this, because mm -hmm. this is not a partisan matter, or oughtn't to be. These people will show up whether there's a, um, a Labour government, a Conservative government, whatever other government we, we invent. But the reality is that the, pu the public are getting sick of being lied to by politicians. Mm -hmm. For the last 20 years, politicians have longer, but let's just say for the last 20 years, have lied to the public by making out that if the right people were in control uh, of government, it would be easy to stop these people. Well, it isn't. And therefore, um, 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 a serious effort has got to be made to ask a very, answer a very difficult question. Can these people ever be stopped? If they can't be stopped, what's the point? in trying what is the point the other things will have to be deployed what do you think can they ever be stopped i, I mean is there a solution to this problem i don't think so but, they, but uh, i feel like what was it well you say that though but you can't then just you can't have the attitude can you to say well, just let it happen well but sometimes people have got to be realistic uh, with the public you know it's like hilaire belloc's doctors isn't it they answered as they took their fees there is no cure for this disease mm -hmm. and there slightly isn't but where we have got to at the moment 
is with the with the politicians not playing fair with the public other people come in and say ah oh, we're politicians who will play uh, fair with the public so other um, parties arise and the whole thing becomes pretty chaotic but look as far as uh, as, 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 as I'm concerned by the way I said this right from the start I remember saying years ago there was there is no prospect of dealing with this issue unless you keep the lawyers out of it and unless you say and you do whatever you have to do with the European Court of Human Rights or whatever. If someone turns up on a beach somewhere uninvited, they sh why should they have a right to um, free legal advice? However, it's dressed up. Why should they have a right to go before the British courts? But you deny them legal advice. Free I, legal of advice. course. And another lawyer will step in and defend their right to get free legal advice. Of course, but, oh. that, that, but that would have to be... It's a racket. <clears throat> yeah. It's a good one for everyone us. watching this programme. Well, we can all at least agree on one thing: this is a racket, and the people who do it, do well out of it are the lawyers. Mm. David, good to see you. Reminds me.